Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me for a little week in my life. Might not be a full week, it'll probably just be in a couple days. But right now, I just got ready and I am gonna run to Marshall's and just do a little shop. I don't need anything, but I'm in the mood to go to Marshall's, so that's what we're gonna do. After that, we're gonna go meet one of my friends for drinks. I don't really know if I'm gonna bring the vloggy vlog along because I haven't seen her in a while, um, but we shall see. Anyways, let's head to Marshall's. Also, short little update. Um, I bought a bunch of poppies when I went to Costco last. Holy shit, the strawberry lemon flavor is so freaking good. I've tried poppies before, and I don't know if the flavor I got before was just gross or what, but I wasn't obsessed with them, but this is delicious. Anyways, now I'm gonna drive. <laughs> okay, tiny little Marshall's haul while I wait to go into the bar. Um, I didn't get that much because literally I was just getting so stressed out in there. There was this child who literally was probably one of the most unbehaved child children I've ever seen in public. Like I literally was like in shock. He was so fucking annoying and like literally things like that are like instant birth control for me because I'm like, oh my God, I couldn't deal with it. Like that poor mother. Anyways, I got this Honest Beauty bubble bath. I've been wanting a new bubble bath for my baths and it's sweet almond scent and it's safe for babies. So hopefully it's safe for me because my little skin is very sensitive. Um, and then the next thing I got is so exciting, you guys. You're not even going to believe I was able to find this at Marshall's. Is a, what's this called? A can opener. The one we have is literal ass. So hopefully this one's better. It's by KitchenAid, which is like a well-known brand. So we shall see. So that's my entire haul. I'm not trying to brag by showing you guys these awesome items. But anyways, I'm here kind of early. I'm debating on if I'm too scared to go in and just sit at the bar before my friend Sarah gets here or if I should just go in. Mm. I'm going to sit in the car. <laughs> Okay, we got back from the drinks and I was literally exhausted so I laid down for a little bit and now I'm gonna take a ginger shot. I got these at Aldi and they were only like a dollar a piece which is way cheaper than they are at Target. <sighs> I just noticed it's expired so I'm not gonna drink the rest of that. <laughs> Never mind, I'm dumb and I misread it. I thought it said 614, but it's 814. So they're not expired. But anyways, I'm just gonna go downstairs and probably play around on my phone for a little bit while Tanner plays a game. Okay, I just got out of the shower and I wanna do a little bit of skincare. So I bought a bunch of products from Bad Habit a long time ago, like probably a month or so ago. And I never ended up trying any of them because I put them in my like little medicine cabinet thing in my bathroom instead of on my skincare shelves. So like out of sight, out of mind. But I'm going to go in with this 10 minute rehab green juice charcoal detox mask. So I'm going to apply this, leave it on for 10 minutes, and then we'll do some more weird skincare. It's very, it's like grayish green color. But we'll just put that on my whole face has like kind of a grainy texture, which I wasn't expecting. I'm putting my hair up so I don't get this mask all over my hair. Okay, mask is on. I am setting a 10 minute timer and I will check back when we are washing it off. Okay, 10 minutes is up. It definitely has dried down quite a bit on the edges and my face is feeling very tight. It's obviously not completely dry in the middle, but I might've just put it on too thick. So I'm gonna wash it off. And of course, I'm gonna use my little fuzzy wrist thing so water doesn't drip down my arms while I'm doing this. I can't believe I had this mask on for 10 minutes and didn't make one Shrek joke. I've really grown as a person. Okay, wash the face mask off. It was definitely harder to wash off than I thought it would be, so probably we'll do that before getting in the shower next time. Now I'm gonna use this AHA BHA Night Serum. It's like blue color, it looks kinda cool. It's very thick. Definitely not obsessed with the smell of this one. <laughs> now we're gonna go in with this melatonin and glycolic night cream. I really hope my skin doesn't get super pissed at me for trying on all these random like 
don't do skincare products at once, but. Alrighty, I'm gonna call that good for my skincare tonight. Okay guys, let's do a little crafty craft. I have been searching for good ways to store all my jewelry. So I started ordering these little boxes that are super nice for organizing all of my earrings. I have this little bin that has these little slits in it so I can put all my rings in there. This is not working for me for necklaces. It's hard to see what I have and it's hard to like get things off without tangling them all. So I'm gonna do a little DIY for something I can store all my necklaces on and have it still look cute. So let's do it. I don't really know if it's gonna work. I'm just making it up as I go and hopefully it turns out cute. So you guys know I've been super into like shells and just like beachy aesthetic. So I figured I should incorporate that into my jewelry display. And if I ended up not liking it, I can just redo it or make another one later. So the first thing I grabbed was this random piece of wood we had in our garage. It's like super, super long. But I feel like that's good because I have so many like necklaces that I'll actually be able to display a lot. Originally I was thinking about painting this, but I kind of like the natural wood texture of it. So I'm just gonna leave it as is. So the idea is I'm gonna have nails going along this entire thing. The nails that I have are just like normal, like construction nails, like they're ugly. Or just these like plain old silver nails. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna stick them into this styrofoam and then I'm gonna paint them with this gold paint. So that the nails are gold. And then to make it even prettier and beachy, I'm gonna go through my giant thing of shells that I collected when I was in South Padre Island. And I'm gonna like hot glue one shell to the tip of each nail. So it looks like that, you know what I mean? And then it'll stick out of here and then I can hang a necklace from each one and it'll look so cute and adorable and beachy. So first step is gonna be painting all of these nails gold. The inspo I have for this little project is this girl made a little like display thing on a piece of driftwood with like sand dollars and nails um, to hang her bikinis on, which I thought was so cute, but like not super practical for someone who lives in Wisconsin. <laughs> so I figured I'd do the same idea, but for jewelry display, cause that's what I've been trying to do recently anyway. I'm literally just taking this gold paint and painting all of these little nails gold. <laughs> so this is gonna be really boring to watch me do all of them. So I will check back in when I'm done with this part. Okay, so I just finished painting all of these nails. While I'm waiting for the nails to dry, I'm gonna look through my little bag of shells here and pick out the ones I wanna use for along there. Isn't this one so cute? But like too cute to use for this. So I think I'm gonna go through and find like smaller, less perfect ones like this one because this is still cute, but like not cute enough to use like for a craft on its own, you know? Okay, I went through all of my shells and these are the ones I picked out that are like the perfect little teeny ones to put on top of each of the nails. All right, the next step I think is to measure how far apart I wanna put the nails to make sure that they're like evenly distributed. So I'm just gonna mark basically every two centimeters along the board and that's where I'm gonna hammer in all of those nails. Alrighty, so I marked two centimeters along the whole way down. Now I'm just going along and hammering in these nails on all those points I marked. I'm doing it on this cutting board so I don't like hammer through to my table. Okay, so I finished putting the nails along this whole thing. It looks like a torture device. I plugged in my hot glue gun and I'm just waiting for that to heat up. I'm using these Gorilla Glue glue sticks, so hopefully it stays on pretty well. I'm basically just gonna put like a dot of hot glue on the inside of each of the shells and then like stick it to the top of the nail. You know what I mean? We'll see how this works out. I'm a little nervous, but I think it'll be fine. <laughs> okay, the glue gun is heated, so let's start out. I'm just gonna grab one of these little shells and stick a glob of hot glue in it and then we'll just press it on the nail and hope for the best. Doesn't that look like so precious? I'm so obsessed with it. It's gonna take forever, but let's go through and glue onto every single nail. Okay, so I moved that little shelf in here and I think it's so perfect in my office. 
So then that can just be like the perfume area. And then this is like all the jewelry. So let's start moving some of the necklaces up to the shelf. I think it turned out so cute. I'm so obsessed with it. This is turning out so cute. I'm so obsessed with the result of this. Like it looks so pretty. And honestly, it's just like a little decor piece in my room now. I love it. I have more of my little earring things coming, so I can put these in. And then now I can use my necklace holder as a bracelet holder, which makes so much more sense for the size of it. But like, how cute is this? Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this couple little days of my life. I am literally so obsessed with my little necklace holder. Best craft I've done in quite a while. Hopefully it gave you guys a little bit of crafty inspo. Anyways, if you guys enjoy the vlog, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.